everyone, welcome back. So as you know, uh, there's a gentleman, Don Rogers, uh, who's been snapping some photos around campus and the student village, uh, trying to persuade students to, you know, take the party inside and keep the neighborhood nice and clean. Our own Robin McGew caught up with Mr. Rogers and his neighborhood the other day, and also chatted with some students to hear what they had to say about the whole shindig. So let's hear what they have to say. Hi Queens, it's Robin McGew here, and I'm sitting with Dawn Rogers, who's from Save Our Neighborhoods. Uh, so do you want to tell me a little bit about your organization? Well, uh, Save Our Neighborhood, uh, or SONAG, uh, we're a new organization. Mm -hmm. uh, we, there's been a, a few people that have been discussing you know, problems as we perceive it, I guess since last spring. Uh, but we decided uh, in, uh, around the beginning of the term uh, to you know, form an organization uh, it is a pressure group, it, it, as our name suggests, a uh, group, right. we're a small organization. Right now there's really just a handful of us. How many? Uh, about three or four okay. are, 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 are really uh, you know, the, the uh, prime movers and shakers at the moment. Right. So what's your take on Don Rogers? Um, I think that the actions that he's taking are very unnecessary and um, it's almost like invasion of privacy and really um, it's something, I think there's other ways that he can approach the issue. What's the end goal? Like, what would you ideally like to see happen? Well, you know, ideally, and we'll, we'll take it, you know, starting from, from, from uh, the ideal, uh, we would like to achieve what we have stated on the first page of our website, our mission statement. What we would like to achieve, and, and we think it's reasonable, is that we should have a quality of life in our neighborhood that the, you know, the families of the Queen students uh, would expect in their neighborhood, in their hometown. And the one thing that we are looking for and that we are, are, are demanding, really, as a first step, and which would be a sign of very good faith, mm -hmm. is for the Queen's University administration to take back the, the administration of non-academic discipline mm -hmm. from the AMS uh, to the University Senate, mm -hmm. from the Queen's Senate, as regards complaints from non-students. As a Kingston resident, what do you think about the Save Our Neighborhood Action Group? I don't think it's a, a satisfactory way of addressing the problem. I don't think to arbitrarily select people from a crowd and photograph them and publish them on the internet is, is the way to go. I think there are, there, it should be dealt with, but, but that's not the be best method. I think the partying needs to stop and, you know, treat, we need to treat everybody who's in Kingston as people and I know that if I partied like that, I'd go to jail. Is the response that sort of being generated, is that what you expected? Well, I'll be very honest with you. Uh, one uh, sort of uh, sidebar that we did not anticipate mm -hmm. was the debate over the privacy issue. Right. Now, now we're very prepared to address that. I mean, we, we, we don't shy away from the privacy issue. Right. But certainly, uh, in the first week or so, that is what dominated the buzz on campus, right. uh, that this was an invasion of privacy. Right. And if we want to discuss that, we certainly can. The, the idea of the, the website was to, to uh, show what what a number of us face on, on an ongoing basis, not just right. at homecoming. Yes, it's an invasion of privacy on the one part. Like, he shouldn't be taking pictures without like the written consent of somebody else. But on the other hand, he's a man with a purpose. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, the guy is here to make anarchy non-existent. That's like when one of your friends like posts a really bad picture of you, or like not even your friend, but something you don't really know that well. They post a really bad picture of you, and you have to like untag it on Facebook. The the, the website is, is, the, is not primarily targeted at the Queen's students. This website is primarily targeted at Queen's alumni uh, and uh, you know, the uh, um, you know, graduates. Uh, it's targeted at the parents of, of you know. Uh, high school kids that may be coming to, to Queens because they think we think the parents should know what's happening there and it's targeted at the the broader community uh, both in Kingston and across the country that have no idea what's going on here. Year after year people are always complaining about something about the students and it's been particularly frosh week and uh, I don't know I've lived around here all my life so I've never had a problem with Queens students at all. Just... Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us is there any last thing you wanted to add? Well, I appreciate uh, the chance to, to chat with, with uh, Queen's TV. Uh, as I say, uh, uh, we certainly, uh, we, we realized, I guess, in setting up this website that we were going to ruffle some feathers. I mean, uh, it, it, we didn't go into this naively, uh, but we felt that something had to be done.